Hi, thanks for joining me again. Welcome back. Today I wanted to complete the 10 things I've done throughout my life that have paid dividends into my future and may have very well led me to discovering the fountain of youth. All right, so number one, at the ripe young age of 15, I gave up all fast food and I did it when it wasn't popular to do so. When I was very young, I had made the decision, and I made this decision out loud, hence the power of neuroplasticity. I said, I want to be as youthful as possible for as long as possible. So I took this chicken McNuggets, I was sitting at a McDonald's, and I squeezed the McNugget in a napkin, and all of this oil came out of one napkin and nearly soaked it, soaked it with just oil in by squeezing one McNugget. So at that very moment, I decided that I was no longer going to eat fast food, not even chicken McNuggets, and I gave it up for good. It has truly made the difference. I did not put any of that fake food in my body, so my body did not have to work extra hard to eliminate or at least to figure out what to do with it, store it, or what have you, because that's what happens. When your body cannot digest something, cannot process that food, whatever it is, sticks to the side of your stomach lining. It sticks to your intestines. That brings me to the next thing, which is hydrogenated oils. I gave up all hydrogenated oils in my 20s and I replaced them with coconut oil and avocado oil. Avocado oil being my top pick. Since avocado oil, uh, you can use it at even higher temperatures than coconut oil and it won't burn. Anytime you ingest anything, whether it's toast or barbecue or grilled or fried food, or oil that has been burning at high temperatures, anytime you ingest that, it in turn burns your cell. It affects you on a cellular level. So when you're burning your cells, what is your immune system doing? It is compensating and having to do extra in order to do damage control. So the idea here is help your immune system and don't put things into your body that is going to hurt your immune system or put a load on your immune system and make it really difficult for it to do the things that it's supposed to do, which is take care of you and keep you young and healthy for a long, long time. All right, that brings me to the next thing. I stopped using Teflon and aluminum pans and I started cooking instead with a cast iron skillet. Now, when I was a little girl, the doctor told me that I was slightly anemic. What they said about that is that I would bruise more easily than most other people and I'd probably be colder than most people, but no big deal. I would be slightly anemic for the rest of my life. There was nothing that I could do about it. Not true. Ever since I started cooking with a cast iron skillet, I no longer have anemia. And what's the proof? Well, I went to the doctor, had a checkup, and she told me you're not anemic anymore. And I thought, really, how could that possibly be? So I looked it up. Sure enough, Use a cast iron skillet and your anemia will go away. Amazing, isn't it? All right, next, I gave up all pork and all soda. But a Diet Coke in particular is actually hazardous to your health. It kills brain cells and causes cancer. Dessert. When I would, I would go out to dinner, I would say no to the dessert. If I really felt like I, I wanted to try it, I would just have a sliver. But I never allowed anyone to say to me, oh, you're so skinny, it's not gonna do anything to you. Boy, let me tell you, if I had a bite for every person that said that to me. <laughs> anyway, so no sugar. This is actually amounting to more than 10 things. And then the other thing, last but not least, is that I stayed active throughout my life, whether it's dancing or hiking or rollerblading, three of my very favorite things, by the way, boxing, another favorite workout routine, kickboxing, you name different things at different times in my life. At the moment now, I'm hiking and going to the gym. Uh, and by the way, for those of you who are wondering, many people have asked me throughout my life, I get asked this on a daily basis. I have absolutely no work done. Something my mother told me when I was a little girl. I took mom's advice and I never touched the skin under my eyes. My mom told me when I was younger that the skin under the eyes is the most delicate skin of the face. If you touch that skin, you will uh, make it sag and wrinkle prematurely. So instead of you, whenever I cry, I do let the tears fall down. Instead of using rubbing my eyes, I use a cotton ball or a Q-tip or my pinky. 
um, but I've been told by a makeup artist that you can use your second to last finger and just dab, but never rub your eyes is the worst thing you can do. And you really, really don't want to ruin the skin of your eyes. It is the most delicate skin of your face. And remember also that our skin is the largest organ of our body, so anything we put on our face is going to go immediately to your bloodstream. As I said before, don't believe me, you can do your own homework, do the research and look this up and you'll be able to find the evidence for all the things that I'm saying. Have an amazing week. Please tune in again next week and do not hesitate to ask questions, to leave comments. I'd be happy to answer them in my next video. And also subscribe to my channel. Please uh, press on that bell icon so that you can get future updates as to when my next YouTube video will be released. Thank you. Ciao for now.